Goldman Sachs uh, rallies this morning. Been up for one, two, three, four days. Uh, let's just say that you had a stop at. Uh, you know what? Let's draw this out. It may, it may work a little bit better if I draw it out. Great, it's raining again. We don't need any more rain. Okay, we had enough rain. Anybody need some rain? Julie, how you guys doing on rain out there in California? We send you some because we've had about freaking enough of this nonsense. You could use some. Okay, I know where you can get some. Let me just look here. So Goldman Sachs, our entry was at 159 with a stop at 157.50. So our original entry, stock was trading at 159. And when we got in, right, we bought, I believe it was the 157.50 call. Was that correct? Seems a little bit aggressive for what. I think we bought it right off the bounce. Did we buy it right off the bounce down here? That makes more sense, an at-the-money option. 157, let's call it 158. And we bought the 157.50s. Okay, thank you. Okay. You can see the exciting news here. My display driver stopped responding and has recovered. I'll be making a call to Philip in our tech support department to um, help me address whatever's going on there. Stock trade at 158. We set a stop at 157.50 because we want to play goal line defense. When I first get in the trade, I want to base my exit off of a technical indicator and I call it having my back against the wall being back up to the stop, being as close to the stop as I can get. All right, everybody with me? So to play this, what I do is I go out and I'm buying the 157 50 call option, uh, and you guys said uh, we bought it for what price? For three ninety-five. Let's call it four bucks. Make the math easy. Bought it for four dollars. Now let me ask you something. Um, what delta is this slightly in the money option going to have? I mean, this thing is basically a quasi at the money option. So, what delta is this option going to have? Be a 50 delta. Okay. All right. If I know that I am entering the trade at 158, and I'm going to exit the trade at 157.50, that's a difference of about 50 cents. Yes. Everybody with me? How much? Will that 50 cent move in the stock price affect my $4 option? How much will a 50 cent move in a 50 delta $4 option affect my 25 cents? Therefore, Bruce, when I first put in my original stop, my original stop on the option price after having converted it, would be in order to sell my 157.50 call for $3.75 stop order. This is my original order. So I know on the stock chart, right, the chart is going to be everything on the left of the line. I know that on the stock chart, day one of the trade, if this goes against me, I need to get out at 157.50. 25 cents on the option, right? All right. So mechanically, how do I do that? Let us simulate. I go in, I purchase my 50 delta option, I buy it, I then put in an order to sell it at a stop. So I right click on the option position uh, and different ways that I can do this. I can uh, apply a money management strategy if we have one that's set up for that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Or I go over and I click on the sell button right here and I come down and I say it was 25 cents below the, the purchase price. So right there uh, and I just click my order and there it is. My stop is now in place. Now it's a stop on the option price but the stop on the option price is based off of the movement in the stock price. 
Yes? Everybody with me so far? All right. The stock takes off. It rips higher. It rockets. It, it just relentlessly shoots higher all day long. And at the end of day one, we're trading at 160, let's call it 163. We'll just make drawing easier that way. Stock is now trading um, at 163. So stock has gone up to 163. Well, crap, our stop is all the way down here at 157.50. And you're thinking to yourself, uh, oh, I can't leave that much wiggle room because if I do and the stock goes back down, I'm going to lose money. Next day, stock price opens about the same area, gaps down just a little bit and starts to rally. And you say to yourself, well, I'd really like to have a really, 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 really ridiculously tight stop here uh, just to make sure that I get stopped out of the trade and am not able to become a millionaire and stay a thousandaire, right? And that's this is where I say, no, here is where you get off of the goal line defense that you were in yesterday when you started the trade and you back off a little bit, give it some room. I like the 10 moving average. At the, remember, we're talking the beginning of the day, right? The beginning of the day, this stock is trading, you know, like like here, right? Like right there. And you're like, well, I'll put my stop right here. Well, okay, you could put it there, but you're very likely to get stopped out. This is day two of a move. What I tell you, back off, suck it up, buttercup, deal with it. Move your stop here below the 10. Give it a little bit of room. Well, where's the 10? It's at 160 right here. Stock is trading at 162.50. Call it 163. We're going to put our stop at 160. Everybody understand the trading plan now for day two? How do we do that? Stock trading at 163. 163. We want a stop. Our new stop is going to be at 160. What is the difference between our current stock price and our stop price? Three dollars. Gilly says it's just delta conversion. That's all it is. All right, we teach this at the Five Day Traders Intensive. Um, now our 157.50 call option has obviously gone into money. It's not worth $4 anymore. It's going to be worth, uh, let's see, it's about $7.50. So your option price now, the new option price, going to be about, so the $157.50 call is now <coughs> going to be worth about $7.50, something like that. Actually, it'll be a little less than that. Going to be worth about $6.50. And the delta has changed too, right? This is now not a at the money option. This is starting to go in the money. Uh, so we've got a, mm, let's call it a 70 delta. All right? 70 delta on the option, $3 worth of movement. Value of the option is at the bid price. Actually, the value of it would be at the asking price. The trigger is at the bid. We're good. Lightning now. Okay, so if we've got a six dollar and fifty cent option with a seventy delta, and we want a stop that is three dollars away from our current stock price, where does our stop on the option price go? What is the price on the option? Well, we know that a three dollar move times point seventy is going to be two dollars and ten cents. $4.40 is the correct answer. So what do we do? We go in, we cancel this order, we put in a new order. You guys, if my power goes out here, I may lose you. <laughs> it's getting a little, little interesting out there. Okay. So now we put in an order to sell our 157.50 call option. At a four dollar, yeah, you hear thunder, all right? Yes, it is. It's big. It's the big stuff. For four dollars and forty cents, as a stop. Everybody with me? You good? Okay. 
it's just delta conversion, guys. It's all it is. Okay. So when we when we go to okay, so when I go to uh, change that the next day, right? The stock trades higher still. Okay, so let me go into e-signal and just again. So now, how do we change it on the option? Right? What do we do on the option? We go to our option that we're in. We grab that stop, and we go. I'd like to move that up here. Right? That hard. We're just moving it up to the price that we've got. That's all we're doing. Right? Nothing. Nothing fancy. Nothing too difficult here. Everybody with me? Questions so far? Okay. So Bruce, does that does that make sense? If we if we need to change it some more, right? How do I do that? I, I just go through that same process. So the next day, we start trading up here. Uh, now we're trading at one. What's this call it? One sixty-seven. We'll call it that. So if the next day we're at one sixty-seven, the stock has moved up to one sixty-seven again. It's moved even higher. What do we want to do then? Stocks at 167. And now we're in day three or four of the move, and we look at this and we go, you know what? It's time for some goal line defense. If this bad boy moves down to yesterday's closing price, 166.50, I need to get out. That needs to be my new stock. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I go look at the option now, and my 157.50 option is trading at 10 bucks. Let's just use ten dollars. Uh, Sixty-seven fifty, fifty-seven fifty would be what nine fifty, about ten bucks. That's pretty good. Okay, so our one fifty-seven fifty call option is now trading at ten dollars and has a ninety-five delta. Okay, we're now deep in the money and close to expiration. So our delta has gone up. Our price of our option has gone up, and we know that if it drops in stock price to yesterday's closing price, we want to get out at 166.50. So what do we do? Well, we go in, cancel this order, put in a new order, and the new order is what? We want to sell our 157.50 call option at what price? Y'all do the conversion for me. I'm going to do it the easy way. About 950. Right? A 95 delta option on a 50 cent move in the stock price is going to be about how much? About 50 cents in the option price. Bruce asked him, will we get to a place where we're using contingent orders uh, uh, trading options directly from stock pricing? Bruce, we had uh, uh, asked for that from Trade Year. Um, inter interactive brokers, you can do that. Uh, and I trade with interactive brokers. That's who my broker is. Uh, I don't do it. I know. This is more accurate. This gives me much better fills and much more control than counting on if the stock gets here, just sell it for whatever. Right? Well, whatever can be whatever. So here I'm setting a stop that will be triggered by time value decay, by implied volatility collapse, or by movement in the underlying asset intrinsic value uh, uh, increase or decrease. This is a far more accurate way of trading options based off of stock price than contingent orders ever were. Um, I much prefer delta conversion to contingent orders. Personal preference, but it's based off of my experience uh, and my experience with contingent orders was not a good one. 